I'm Ansa Parveen. I'm doing Fellowship on Pediatric Optometry under Indian Academy of Optometry, Batch 4. Today I'm going to talk about Convergence Insufficiency. So, Convergence Insufficiency is characterized by the decreased ability of the eyes to converge and to maintain binocular fusion while focusing on a near object. So, the patient usually presents with symptoms like headache, blurred vision after near work, diplopia, eye strain, fatigue, etc. So, in order to check whether it is convergence insufficiency, we should check the near point of convergence, convergence amplitude, etc. Usually for a convergence insufficiency patient, in alternate cover test, there will be X of medium to high X of oral or intermittent X of oral. So, in all, and also there will be decreased near point of convergence as well as decreased to convergence amplitudes. So, for checking the near point of convergence, we use a ray roller in which the target is brought closer to the eye and we ask the patients when the targets become stable. So, for a normal patient, it will be less than 10 cm. For a younger patient, it will reach uh, at the tip of the nose also so if it is more than 10 cm then we should further evaluate for convergence insufficiency now for checking the convergence amplitude we use base of prisms we can use prism bars so we need to show a near target then increase the power of the base of prism in front of the patient's eye and ask when the image becomes double or objectively we can look at the patient's eye and see whether when the eye deviates out or when the fusion breaks. So the normal ranges for near it is 30 percent diopter and for distance it is 14 percent diopter. So if for near if it is less than 15 to 20 percent diopter then it is a sign of convergence insufficiency. Okay. Now, for so, now we are going to tell the treatment option. So, orthoptic exercises is the primary treatment for convergence insufficiency. And there are many conver conventional methods uh, like pencil push-up, convergence cards, stereograms. Also, there are uh, also there were there are versions facility exercises, then computer based exercises also. So first of all, pencil push up test in which the, we ask the patient to look at the tip of a pencil, then bring it close to the eyes until it becomes double, then again repeat the same procedure. And for convergence cards, there are different types of convergence cards and usually there will be circles or dots present in the card and the patient is asked to hold in front of the bridge of the nose and ask. For example, if it is lines, dots on a line, the patient will see cross lines through the dot focusing. Next is stereograms. The stereogram they will present similar images horizontally separated. Patients uh, need to binocularly fuse to elicit the physiological diplopia and the patient will see a third image at the center which is usually the overlapped image of the other, uh, the other similar, two similar pictures. Now, nowadays, computer uh, based convergence uh, there are exercises are available for example computer version system it provides random dot stereograms in which to see the picture the patient needs to converge and the, it will automatically increase the convergence to, uh, to so that the patient can see the uh, image clearly and it can be monitored online progression can be monitored online so
go these are the tests now we can some practitioners give base of prisons can also be used for a summer prison bus for single base of prison for daily exercise so that the patient can uh, look at a target closer then make it double then again repeat the test prison bar can also be used so these are the exercises as a treatment for convergence insufficiency and if this conventional treatment did not give any result the optometrist can prescribe patient prisms for the patient and it will improve the conversions of the patient.